forest squirrel spotted. Langur, Langur, Gorilla Gado. Tell you what I'm saying. I'm going to go to the house. i English. So let us get inside and see how it looks. So we are welcomed by a stone formation here. This is a small piece of advice for everybody who are entering this channel. Jungle is always beautiful, no matter how it is. So you can see all these reptiles in this jungle. You can see bamboo pit vipers. You get to see water snakes, wine snakes, golden geckos, which is a reptile, but from the lizard family. You can see the dynamic king cobra, common crates, pythons, chameleons, saw-scaled viper, rattlesnakes, tortoise and monitor lizards. So if we are fortunate, we can see any of these. But if the footfall is more, you don't see anything. There you go. Lord Hanuman. So, this is called Kapila Tirdam to Alipiri nature, uh, nature Trail. This is uh, inaugurated by TV Chalapat Rao Garu. And you get to see all of these again. So this is the walkway. Yes, I do agree they have disturbed the habitat for the, for the normal people to walk. But what I would prefer is a muddy trail untouched so that you know we are not spoiling their habitats. No plastics. So basically this is a beautiful forest. It's obviously a natural forest, but uh, these guys have laid some paths and you know, these guys have laid some trees artificially. So this is not a complete natural forest. Yeah, to an extent this is and uh, if you walk straight for about uh, 100 150 meters you get to see uh, a small bridge wherein you can take this bridge to go up so these are the meat-eating plants. You know that is a Venus flytrap. So that's a Venus flytrap wherein 
it closes once an insect is inside and it releases some digestive uh, enzymes so until and unless that prey is completely dissolved in that acid the flower doesn't open so once it is hungry again it opens and it attracts the insects with its bright red color so the insect once it gets attract attracted so death is inevitable the other one is uh, nepenthes even this is this is called a blood tube again you know it it attracts with from it attracts with this uh, beautiful uh, blood type tubes so once the prey is inside it closes digestive enzymes will get released and it is digested this is dracera the third one these will have uh, tentacles on it so those tentacles are kind of uh, sticky so once the prey is near this particular uh, plant it basically gets stuck to its uh, sticky substance that is covered exterior to this uh, flower and until it gets digested it doesn't release i mean you know it's it's basically it eats gradually so all these three are uh, meat eating uh, plants of the entire forest so this is it so i'm currently in the on the watch tower i'm gazing at this beautiful lush greens forests are always fascinating it always amazes me this is the forest so let us explore the other part of the forest this is a beautiful forest tree a little pond so this pond is being dug to quench the thirst of many birds which are residing in this particular forest so this is again a log bridge so this is not bamboo this is iron coated with bamboo color so you can see at the back of me there is this uh, insect called bombarier chatel so what it does is when you try to go and catch that particular insect it spits a, a very hot liquid onto your face probably you can spit about 20 cm uh, from its uh, place which is uh, approximately 100 degrees centigrade which is actually a boiling uh, it is more than a boiling water so it is more than boiling water it spits on the face we can feel the burn you know uh, an insect which is of this size a few inches size generating 100 degree centigrade of uh, liquid is fascinating and that insect name is uh, bombarier chatel you tend to get uh, this kind of uh, insects here but i know they are endangered so all thanks to humans for making all the beautiful species endangered <laughs>
actually the best thing about this forest which i liked the most is though they have spoiled the very nature of the forest by laying roads they did not disturb the plants if they have plants in the middle of uh, the path where they proposed the to lay the roads they just laid the road you can say they have covered everything in cement so how will this particular tree get uh, watered so since the roots are inside the roots will automatically go in search of water so the top layer doesn't have to be open to to take the rain water but it prefers when I mean, this this tree will get ground water as its ma- maximum streak well this lovely thing is trying to cross me oh. This is kind of friendly. This is not afraid. Hmm?